Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath, here to do a new problem as part of the 2015 GoMath Teacher Workshop Series. These are a whole bunch of videos designed to help teachers review concepts in math, science, English, and history. Today's problem is number 9 on the CBEST practice exam. We're going to look at number 9 and, and work through it. It's an elementary math practice exam in California. A real nice problem regardless of uh, whether you're a teacher in California or Florida or New York or Massachusetts, you can use a problem like this to practice some strategies that are going to help you on those harder and trickier math problems. So let's take a look at this one. Number nine. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read it over. Now this one is building off of the last few that we've done in this series involving model drawing. So I'm going to, I'm going to talk about that in a moment, but first I'll read it over. Tara can develop two rolls of film in about 18 minutes. At this rate, how long does it how long will it take her to develop eight rolls of film? Okay. Well, I want to, I want to, this problem right here is a real life scenario. And it's math in a real life scenario. It's, it's very, uh, you're going to see a lot of types of problems like this because they're mixing in real life scenarios with math. And this is all what the new math, core math is all about. So to help me visualize that, I'm going to actually draw a picture. And here I'm going to start with two concrete rolls of film. Here's my two concrete, those are my two rolls of film. I'll label that two. And each one of them, if they combined, it takes 18 minutes. You know, I could almost think of each one of these as being nine minutes each. And together, they add up to 18. That's another way of thinking about that. Each individual roll takes nine minutes. Together, both of them take 18. Now it says, Second part says, how long is it going to take to develop um, eight rules of film? Well, I already have two here. So now I'm going to start uh, using the, the model drawing to help me uh, to work through the math behind the problem. Well, I have another, uh, another uh, couple of rules. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight rolls of film. Now each one is nine. Okay, so I'm going to put that in. Now don't laugh at what I'm doing. What I'm doing is very important because I'm, re I'm solving this visually and I'm using model drawing as a way to, to help me solve a problem like this. Did I, did I draw too many rolls? No, I'm okay. Sometimes I draw too many rolls. But that visual aid is very, very important. Okay, so now I could add them all up like this or, and I'd get an answer, or I could just do nine times uh, 9 times 8, and I'd get the same answer. And that would be 72. It's going to take a total of 72 minutes uh, to develop 8 rolls, because we have here a, a total of 8 rolls. All right, so now that I know it's going to take 72 minutes, what's the answer? Well, this is the next little piece. You've got to be able to convert 72 minutes into hours and minutes. And you could say 72 minutes is like 60 minutes plus 12 minutes, and 60 minutes is the same as 1 hour and 12 minutes, and that's how we break up 72 minutes. And we get our answer conveniently right here in B. Okay team, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Stay tuned for more. Check out a workshop if you need some extra help in those content areas, and take care. Bye-bye.